Hey everybody, welcome back to Fixing Things. Today, we're on my Nissan pickup truck. Windows, windows and more windows. Every time I turn around, it seems like I'm replacing window regulators, replacing windows. Ah, oh, I'm having bad luck with windows. Well, my Nissan pickup truck is also having issues with windows. So, today on this episode of Fixing Things, we're going to see what is wrong with my window, and we're going to fix it. You've probably already seen it from the, the thumbnail. <laughs> So, you're, you're watching this video either because your window is not going down or it's not coming back up, or both. And we're going to try to do, we're going to try to diagnose what the issues are. So, the first thing you want to do is put your key in ignition. Put it on accessory. That is Phil Wickham living. Turn the radio off. Oh, I think we'll shut the door. I think I think we'll shut the door again. So your windows run with on this truck just with one power wire one fuse so if the opposite windows are going down turn the key to on position accessory then you know you have power and it works but if one window is not working and you're pushing the button that could mean the window regulator then is bad. But if the window goes down, and doesn't come back up, what does that mean, Pastor Bill? That means you got a bad switch. Now this one here comes up if you, yes, you gotta, you gotta play with it. You know something? I don't got time to play with that thing. You're at, takes you 15 minutes to get the window up. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't need a fix now. Oh no, we need it fixed. Because what, a, what if the rain's coming down? What if all kinds of stuff is happening? So on this, today's video, I'm gonna show you how, how easy it really is to replace one of these switches. You, you shouldn't get um, scared to do some of these things on your vehicle. Some of these things are like super easy. So I got a switch from China on eBay. I thought it was gonna be an American one because it had an American sign on it. But uh, it came within like three days, not bad. Uh, it was only like uh, 25 bucks. Not bad. Um, let's hopefully... I'm not going to cuss the switch out. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how to replace that switch today. I've never done it before, but I have had a couple of these door panels apart before. So let's get with it. So I believe all we're going to need is two screwdrivers. A number two Phillips and a number two flat blade screwdriver. And I believe that's all we're gonna use. Hopefully. <laughs> so what we need to replace, there's a, this whole switch is, and you can see where somebody's been in this thing before. 
I think we'll use the same hole that they use. I don't like, when you put the, whatever you put in there, put it in kind of far, not little at the edge and pry up. Just put it in kind of far. That way you're not chewing up the, your plastic. So this one here only has one connection on it. And it's got a little tab you push in and the whole wire comes out. Hopefully, hopefully the new one, the plug fits. Cause on the last window regulator I got, it didn't fit. Okay, it looks like it has it has a tap con in it because someone did have this thing apart one time before. And it has two screws right here. Let's take out the two screws. It's got a tap con in it. <laughs> take out that screw. Take out that screw. And we can't use it that, so good thing the Tapcon has a flat bait on it. So I think the person who had this truck before me was pushing on that sw this switch so hard trying to get that window to come up that they broke the plastic. And they shoved the Tapcon in it. And they cut the Tapcon short. Then your switch just pulls apart. That looks like robot parts for sure. All right, let's open up this box, see what we got. There's no return in this stuff, it's China. Oh look, it comes with the tool so you don't it comes with the tool so you don't scratch up your plastic. I'll use that on another video. I guess I should have opened it up first. All right, first thing I want to do is I want to match the old with the new. Yep. Looks pretty similar. And the plug looks identical. And we are going for it. We are going for it. So now is a good time to, to clean all this stuff up. So let's put it back together. Put our tap con in first. Always use tap cons. I mean, don't use the recommended screws. This will be so nice. This would be so nice to get the window working again. Okay, I don't think that Tapcon's ever going to strip. I can see why these things stripped. Yep, it's almost stripped right there. They just don't reach in there far enough to grab anything. Maybe I should cut some Tapcons and put them in there. It does rub on the switch. Maybe I could have moved that thing over a little bit. There we go. Okay, hard part's done. Now let's simply put the switch back in place. Put the back side in first, I believe. Maybe it's the front side, I don't know. Yeah, front side goes in first. We've been taking that apart the hard time. There we go. Now all we gotta do is test it. 
All right, let's put the key back in the ignition. And let's test it. I'm gonna start with the window over there. Oh yeah. So far so good, the switch feels good. Oh yeah, over here. Now the one that was broken, do you think we fixed it? I don't know, what do you think? It's going down. Oh man, I probably made a mistake. Cause if it don't go back up, man. Success. Now hopefully this switch is a good one and it lasts for years down the road. The drivers, the drivers uh, switches tend to break easier because they're used a lot more often than the other switches. Uh, not only that, rain and stuff like that gets in these switches. And more than likely, I can probably fix this switch. This this switch for the other side sounds better. This one got got a funky sound to it. I bet you if I pull it apart. I can probably clean it and because it's it's gets nasty it's got some nastiness on it this, 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 uh... anyways I think we got it fixed I want to thank everybody for watching my videos I remember I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me this is an easy thing. Uh, no one should feel uh, discouraged or scared of, of, of trying to attempt such thing. Uh, going to the dealer. Uh, like I said, I bought the cheap one on eBay on this one. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in buying OEM products. Uh, sometimes the OEM products are outrageous in price, uh, like the OEM switches. Um, sometimes you get a good one. Sometimes you get a bad one. Sometimes you can buy four of these switches for the price of an OEM. But as you see, it paid off for me about $14, $15, and I got me a switch that works. I think I'm going to run down to the mailbox and see who's up there is talking. I think I got some parts for my Pinto motor in the mailbox. God bless you. I'll see you on the next Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. Man, that window works good. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. I like it when the plan comes together. <laughs>